Today, we are gonna be practicing America's favorite pastime, judging people off of very little information. So on this chart, I'm gonna be listing a bunch of games, seeing how good and bad your mental health is, judged on what game you play. I will be also judging if you are 100% a gamer or absolutely no shot you're a gamer. Starting off the list with sports games. I know this is FIFA, but this is gonna be all the Maddens, the 2Ks, the NHLs. In your mental, are you okay? You're buying the same game every year. And when it comes to gaming, you're a really basic gamer. Well, right around there. Call of Duty Warzone, you are a basic human being. Too many people play Call of Duty Warzone for all of them to be gamers. Warzone is absolutely the middle. Now, if this is your game of choice, there's no nice way of putting this. You are scum. No Genshin Impact player will ever tell you, I play Genshin Impact. I wanna put it down here in the corner, but I don't wanna cover up the key. So right there, absolutely no shot there, gamer. You already know you're really not a gamer. I think you are a little bit more of a gamer than Genshin Impact. I do think card game players are a little bit of gamers. It could just be tilting, not getting all the cards that you actually need. And then you continue to keep playing. I don't know if that gives you a good mental or a bad mental because you don't know how to quit, but I'm gonna say it's good. They are. Rust is an interesting game because you could play it for hours without actually progressing at all. Actually, the most hardcore gamer we've seen so far, but your mental is shot. I'm thinking they're like there. It takes a lot to keep playing a dead game. Overwatch is like there. Real-time strategy games just feel very stressful. By gosh, by golly, are you a gamer? Easily 100% a gamer. Easily. League. You possibly could be the most gamer gamer out there, but there is no way you're not depressed because you probably dropped 40,000 hours into this game and you still suck and you know it. You always hate your team members. You're always the best on the team. And that one win that you get does not make up for the three losses that you just had, but yet you keep putting yourself through the same pain over and over and over again. But you're a gamer. League is going into the bottom right. Name the last time you've seen a happy League player. I'm waiting. So I'm gonna put Dota 2 very close to League of Legends because I know they're similar games, but let me riddle you this. Have you ever actually met a Dota 2 player? Because I have not. I believe they don't actually exist. Like the P and Pterodactyl, the G and Lasagna, the State of Wyoming, they're all made up. I'm gonna put it right next to League of Legends, but like diet. The game that never dies. Skyrim. But if you're really hardcore about the Elder Scrolls series, your mental has to just keep on plummeting. There we go. I'm not gonna lie. I think this game is like the best for your mental health. I think you're so much of a gamer. If like every night you're just going on and playing some sock car. I'm thinking you're like the top right. I don't know any other game that makes you feel nearly as good as Rocket League. CSGO, basically like the jock of gaming. You're easily 100% a gamer. The only thing is, I don't know if people in CS actually like anyone else. I think they despise everyone. I'm putting them right below StarCraft. Valorant, Counter-Strikes, Step Sibling. They're like the same game. I'm putting them like right next to each other. Call of Duty, the actual games is not the same as the war zones. Although they are basic, so they're gonna be somewhere in the middle. I would've put yourself in a bad mental if we were still on Cold War, but Vanguard, it's a good one. You're like, your mental's pretty uh, high up there because you finally got a decent Call of Duty again. I'm saying you're like there. The game that everyone will tell you, hey, I can beat you at this one. You're not a gamer. And it's so basic that you can't even judge the mental. So this is like, there. Now, Pokemon, you're definitely not a gamer. However, your mental is either good or bad depending on what age you are. As you get older, you go from a good mental progressively down. You're definitely more of a gamer than Mario Kart. If you love your racing games, I feel like you're in your own category. I'm gonna put them like good mental health and like mid-tier gamer. By the way, that's for like all racing games, not specifically Forza. This is 100% hey, I'm really tired of League of Legends. Since you are probably a League player, 
I'm going to say your mental's probably still bad, but while you're playing this game, it's a little bit better. Jump King or any of the other rage games, because I'm not going to put like Pogo stock in getting over it. If you really want to put yourself through that mental pressure, you have to have some pretty decent mental health. But the fact that you know about these games means that you're a gamer. Although, if you want to put yourself through that pain, does that really mean that you have good mental health or bad mental health? Are you testing yourself? Maybe it's middle of the pack. I'm putting those rage games right there. The game that came back from the dead. It's hard to say that someone is 100% a gamer when they play all these super popular battle royale games. But I will say Apex Legends is probably one of the better ones. I'm thinking right above Jump King. You're not a gamer. You never were a gamer. Never will be a gamer. And this game just makes you not trust anyone. You're not scum like Genshin Impact, but you're right above it. You're just looking to waste time. Animal Crossing is like top leftish. So for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, there's an outlier because there are thousands of people that are very, very hardcore about this game. But for the most part, everyone just is like, hey, you wanna play some Super Smash Brothers? Go into any dorm room. I think you have good mental health, but you're really not that much of a gamer, at least for the average Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player. You're such a gamer. You stuck it through. Your mental is shot though. I think literally like right above late League of Legends, right above. I mean, if you love yourself an MMO RPG, I mean, especially World of Warcraft, you already know you're a gamer. You have good mental health, but not like the best, you know? You're a World of Warcraft player, but you actually just wanted to play a new game right above World of Warcraft because you have the mental fortitude to try a new game. You still play this? I'm thinking there. Why are you even still playing this? There are just like way better battle royales out. Are you dumb? Right where Destiny 2 is, but a tiny bit less of a gamer. I don't understand how this game is enjoyable. Above Skyrim seems uh, correct. Dead by Daylight, sometimes you do just wanna murder your friends. That's good for your mental. I'm thinking a little bit above Overwatch. Can you be considered a gamer if you only play one game? Because I feel like a lot of the people that play Fortnite now only play Fortnite. You know what? Fortnite is right between racing and Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. If you're mainly a Grand Theft Auto player, I don't think you're actually that much of a gamer. But you are in good mental health. To the left of Fortnite in that group, let me just say, I do think Minecraft is like potentially the best game ever created. But if Minecraft's your main game, no way you're you're a gamer. I can't imagine having a bad time playing Minecraft. I don't know why I have Trackmania in here, but uh, it's basically where Forza is, maybe a little bit more of a gamer. Chess, you're not a gamer. This is a board game, Are you kidding me? I'm gonna put it below Animal Crossing, but more to the left than Animal Crossing. Roblox possibly could be a game where you could just only play this and you would never run out of things to do i'm gonna put it right above apex fall guys you know you need to be a pretty decent gamer to actually win this game but are you a gamer absolutely i believe this is the very right this might be controversial but i actually don't think you're a gamer and here's why because every single person that goes back to runescape only has played runescape then there's five years of them not playing anything, and then they went back to RuneScape. I think it's right on the x-axis. It, it's just Mario Kart all over again. It's like the second one you play. I think you're a little bit more of a gamer, but it's Mario Kart, come on. Last but not least, Halo Infinite. So I would say for Halo fans, you were in the sunken place for quite a while there, but you finally got a good one. So you're riding a high. However, you did get a good one. And that made it so too many play people play this game now. You're probably trying it out. You had your Xbox just laying around, haven't played it for months, but then you heard the new Halo came out and you're like, geez, I'll play that. I believe Halo Infinite is actually right next to Forza and racing games but your mental is through the roof. Halo Infinite might be there now, but as time progresses, 
it will progress to this corner over here. So this is the final chart. Do you agree? Disagree? Any other games that you would put on here that I missed? Even now, re-looking at my chart, I do believe sports games should actually be all the way to the bottom. But if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I mean, like, I'm on my way to maybe like 700 subs, which is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, if I got there, I mean, <laughs> way cooler.